Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery. Today we are going to Davy Crockett's birthplace. Now this is actually a state park here in East Tennessee. It's not too far from my house and so the light is absolutely fantastic right now and I think it's going to make for a really nice drive taking some back roads rather than just taking the highway to get there. So follow me. Come on. Let's go for a ride. Davy Crockett's birthplace. Here we come. here in East Tennessee um, is that I can really just take my time. I can enjoy the scenery, I can enjoy the sky, uh, when the sun is getting ready to set or getting ready to rise. I'm not in a rush to get anywhere and I really love that about a lot of the back roads here. You know, for it, as an example, I'm only doing about 35 miles an hour and I'm just taking it all in. I'm just absorbing all of what I see. And I hope you are too, because there really is a lot to see. You know, the sky is starting to change, some puffy pink clouds and that type of thing. So uh, enjoy the ride as I head on home. And uh, when 
when I get home, it'll be time for me to have what we call here in the South, supper. So, take care. Don't forget, remember to like and subscribe, really important. I'm Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery and today we are here at the Davy Crockett Birthplace State Park. Now this is a fantastic state park that we really highly recommend that you come and visit. You can come here and spend the day and uh, do a tour at uh, the Davy Crockett Homestead. You can kind of uh, see what it's like. They have a garden here and that you can kind of get an idea of what it was like to actually live uh, during that time here in East Tennessee. There's also uh, a campground here, so if you uh, want a tent camp or you want a uh, trailer and get full hookups, that's here too. There's plenty of trails for you to be able to hike on. So I highly encourage you to come down and visit uh, if you're ever here in the East Tennessee area. Now, I hope you really enjoyed the ride. I tried to pick that golden hour so we could get some nice soft light. Uh, I was able to capture some images while I was here today. And... Uh, just remember to like and subscribe. It's really important to us so we continue to bring you some great content. And most of all, have a blessed day.
as we're kind of walking up to the uh, what would be the homestead um, area you can kind of see where over here there would be uh, looks like they're restoring a barn this general area right there um, obviously um, you can kind of see how the uh, state done a really really good job at uh, replicating what it would like what it would be like to actually be a homesteader uh, in the uh, in the 1800s certainly wasn't an easy life uh, it was a lot of work and as you can see the uh, state also does a fantastic job creating farming and gardening uh, something that was definitely done during this period There's corn off in the distance. And a few uh, herbs. Uh, they try not to have too much uh, uh, vegetables here, obviously, because uh, it would bring uh, a lot of critters. And they probably don't want that. Uh, definitely a old school wheelbarrow. Really grateful for my lawn tractor about now. But this is what it would be like to be a homesteader. And as you can see, it's a lot of work. And that is Davy Crockett's home, birthplace. I was fortunate enough to actually get here before they closed. We got some great light. Really thrilled about the light that's here. And it certainly makes for great video. And I just spotted this. So, Davy Crockett's birthplace home. <laughs>